I would describe the Mortons as caring, generous, and advocates. To describe the Mortons, it's, it's hard to put them in one sentence, but I, I would think to describe them would be all in. The best way to describe the Mortons would be just really champions for our youth, um, selfless and giving of their time and energy um, to, to help out the community in any capacity. Whether it's a board, a committee, a party that we need help setting up for or cleaning up after, um, or just any favor, anything we need, you pick up the phone, you call Bill and Vicki and they're gonna be there. You know, the Mortons have a real um, compassion for people who are in a vulnerable situation. And so they, in my mind, they've taken on the role of really advocating for people who might not know how to advocate for themselves or not might not be in a position to advocate for themselves. They're really pouring themselves into the lives of children, which I think always makes a huge impact and kind of that ripple impact. You may think you're just changing the life or advocating or helping one child, but that one child then ripples on to the families and other people, and as they grow, they have a wonderful example in the Mortons. So I think just how they pour themselves into children and invest themselves in making children's lives better in Kosciuszko County is huge. One of the things that inspire me the most about Bill and Vicki is their passion for the community, especially programs that affect children's lives. CASA, Cardinal Services, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, getting involved in the schools. We're a small community, and if people don't take part, if they don't commit themselves to making the community all it can be, then the community kind of falls apart. These are all things that um, not everybody in the community knows that they do, but they are constantly finding ways to do the most good without shining a light on themselves. They usually very quietly and anonymously see a need and meet it. I mean, they just, and they're very creative. They'll come to us and say, we see such and such a need. What can we do to meet that need? They have a real passion for people who are vulnerable and wanting to help them. And I think their greatest contribution is what all of us should aspire to, which is if we care about something, putting some action behind that and not making it a someday. Um, they're doing it now. They have been dedicated CASA volunteers. They have advocated for so many children in really rough um, places in their lives. They always go above and beyond. They always get their training hours in. They actually sometimes, Bill especially, will come across some really good resources or trainings that myself and other CASAs could benefit from. They've both been big brothers and big sisters for over 10 years. And it's really been awesome to see how they've worked with the Community Foundation to start a foundation that really helps littles and former littles pursue continued education. They have served as role models to students, helping them to reach for their goals and to inspire them to, to go beyond what they have learned in the classroom. Their commitment to the community, their commitment to others, and their commitment to bettering the place that they leave um, also makes you want to do the same. And there are very few people on the planet that you come to find that you will walk through fire with. And Bill and Vicki Morton are people I would walk through fire with. Neither of them really look for the limelight. They sign up, they make an impact. They're very quiet about their involvement. I suppose the greatest contribution or impact would probably be that their giving and their commitment comes with no strings attached. So much of what they do, they're doing not for recognition. They're just doing it because they see a need and they want to fill it. It is incredibly inspiring to see two people who have done so much for so many different organizations, really affecting the lives of children and our community's future and really not expecting anything in return. They are a perfect example of not letting the right hand know what the left hand does in our community. I can't think of a better example than Bill and Vicki Morton. Uh, congratulations, Bill and Vicki. Uh, your tireless efforts have made a huge impact in the community, and we are so thankful to have you among us. 
Congratulations, Vicki and Bill. Thank you for everything that you have done for CASA, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, our community. This community, Kosciuszko County, is better because of you and the fact that you're in it. Thank you so much. Um, I can't think of anyone who deserves it better. I know that you give your heart to Big Brothers, Big Sisters, every bit as much as you do to Cardinal Services. And we feel like you've been such a gift to us and being part of our family, our Cardinal family. And I'm sure the Big Brothers and Big Sisters feel exactly the same way. Um, you deserve this recognition, even though you don't as seek it out. And so I'm just so thankful to know you, thankful that you are doing so much to help vulnerable young people thrive in our community. Congratulations. We thank you. We don't just honor you, but we also thank you for everything that you do, again, with no strings attached. And that is immeasurable. So congratulations, thank you again, and we all love you very much. On behalf of Big Brothers Big Sisters, our volunteers and our board members, Bill and Vicki, we want to congratulate you for being named the 2023 Charlie Smith Award winner. Congratulations. We appreciate you.